right, we're live once again. Uh, my name is Victoria, and this is Batik Walla. That's my business. And this is a live painting video where I will be painting beeswax. Oh my god, it's stuck together. Beeswax, molten beeswax, onto fabric for a batik. So, batik is a fiber art process that it's actually an ancient technique and it's a way of creating designs on fabric using beeswax as a resist and then hand dyeing the fabric. Well, I mean, I hand dye all the fabric, which is really kind of what you need to do to preserve the wax design because although it is fairly strong and can withstand, uh, it can resist water and dye. It still requires, it's not machine washable. And then after I've done a series of paintings and dyeing, hi Diane, the wax is boiled off and then the design that I'm about to paint will be revealed in many different colors. So that's a brief overview for anyone who needs to know what Batik is about. All right, let's get started. Actually, I started this dress and then I did this is supposed to be a tree, and then this is supposed to be a sunrise, but actually it was supposed to be done on this side. But then I'm thinking, well, we could do trees on both sides. I don't know, let's see, let's just get started. I'm gonna do a, hi Jennifer, hello from California, nice. Now, is it as hot down there as it is here? Because it's hot here today. I got the doors open, but it's still like toasty in the studio. I'm gonna try to just make one dress tonight, but I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so usually I kind of trace out an idea of the design that I want with a washable marker. Oh yeah, and this is a new angle. I don't know, we're gonna give this a try and see how it goes. It seems like the light is good. So, and you can see the skillet with the melted wax. I'll review it at the end of the video to see if it if it's any better or different or what how it looks I'm just tracing out the design right now Melody's also from Oregon and somebody's from Pismo Beach Jennifer Pismo Beach and it's not dreadful <laughs> that's great <laughs> where is Pismo Beach what state is that thank you oh shit thank you Jennifer for sharing the video Yes, let's get the word out about Batik. That's cool, thank you. So I'm doing like a sunrise kind of thing here. Cool, that's neat. Hello, Kelly. All right, let's do it. Maybe we'll do a design, we'll do the same design on each side. Wow, it is hot. I haven't painted since before the 4th of July. So hopefully I'm still good at this. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, it's so hot. I put on my platform shoes, because it's, I love the way it's easy to get up and down from this chair with these shoes on, but they are warming me up a bit. Okay, this, this design. This is the wax. I saved this part for you guys. It actually needs a little more wax. I feel like it's too low. I'm gonna put more beeswax in here. This might be too much beeswax, I don't know. I'm trying to keep an eye on that. I haven't even tested the temperature of this. Hey, Krista. Uh, Brigitte says, you inspired me to try my hand at Batik. That's wonderful. Yes, I'm so glad to hear it. That is good news. All right, let's start it down here because in a couple days and, oh yeah, all right, there we go. Everything, the angle seems weird. How 
we doing here? Can you guys see that okay? Do I need to turn this on? How's that? Is that better light? There's a fly in here. That fly better not bother me. All right. Couple days, no painting. Tool is clogged. Oh, I feel rusty. Let's get back into it. Get back into the zone. All right. Chrissy, it seems good on lighting and angle. Awesome, that's good to know. Cool. Oh my goodness, it is warm. I think it's like in the 80s. My tool is clogged. So I'm gonna try to get it unclogged here with a safety pin or some kind of like sediment in here. Yeah, the shoes. These shoes are cool. They're warm though. That'd be good for winter. I didn't think I'd like them, but getting in and out of the chair is so much easier. And just getting to everything, it's like you put, it puts like a good four inches. <laughs> but they're not heels, so you don't have the heel effect. Very practical. That's my justification. Oh my god, I'm so hot. That's all right. We're we're getting there. Right. Okay, there we go. Look at that. The tool is working now. Nice. Hard to walk in. Oh, the shoes? Not oh, really. I may haven't really left the house with them. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that's the real test. Telenet, they're, they're very practical for around the house stuff.
a shoe nut. I love shoes. Oh my goodness, it's so hot. And I don't even have a hair tie. Oh my god, I didn't know it was gonna be this hot in here. Oh. Alright. We'll be fine. Paula, turn more so we can see. Oh, it's really white. Oh no. Here, let's see if that happens. Is that better? I used a different tripod today. Hmm. And it won't go down any, there it goes. Is that helping at all? Choppy, huh? Hmm. I can see how it's white, but actually I haven't painted this part yet, so let's see if there's any improvement there. It didn't make a difference. How about that? There's one other thing I can try. I'll turn this other light out. Goodness, it's... All right, let's see what happens now. I don't know. I'm gonna paint out this tree and otherwise I might have to switch tripods, which I could do, probably. Hmm. But we'll see. Let me, let's just get this first design drawn out. Yeah, it's still hard to see. Okay, I'm gonna do this. This is very light, so it might be hard to see anyway. And then, yeah, once I get it, I start the painting. We'll see what happens. If it doesn't change, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get it off this tripod and on back onto the other one, which I'm, I might be able to do. We'll go to try. Let's see what happens once I start painting. Okay, so I'm getting some, some thumbs up that you guys can see it. We'll see. I, it is a little glary for me as well, but I don't know.
so it is glittery for me too you guys i might switch it back to my other tripod But I do like what's happening as far as this design is concerned. See, it's still melting. Okay, there we go. Are you guys able to see it because I it's very glary for me I'm get oh somebody gave a thumb up okay good all right I'm gonna keep going then I'm right-handed, but it just looks like I'm left-handed because of the way the, it's like the opposite. All right, how are we doing here? Just a couple more stars. All right, that's good. do is call, uh, go over these designs. start making these awesome pieces oh and do I dye it after it cools yes I do dye it and it does cool pretty quickly um, but so I make as many as I can and then I dye them together in a small batch hi Jordan thank you I'm self-taught with batik I taught myself as a teenager as a way to support myself I was just fascinated with it never had done it before and I thought I could do it 
yeah, so I went and checked out some books at the library and I had a basic idea of what it was, but I hadn't actually tried it out until I came out to the West Coast and then I happened to have the time and space to, you know, try out some kind of messy craft. And I, and there were craft fairs out here that I knew I could set up at. Well, I started, well, I started at the Grateful Dead concert. Well, my first one was a crafter. It was just this crazy, it was still a, a blanket on the ground, but I sold a whole bunch of t-shirts that I made and then I was hooked in. I was like, wow, this is cool. And that's how it started. And that's what I've been doing ever since. <laughs> Except now I'm doing it on Facebook right here painting in front of everybody and I think it's kind of cool. I didn't know people would think it was interesting. Until recently. But I'm really hoping you guys can actually see it and the glare isn't affecting. But I haven't, I've seen some hearts so I haven't had anyone else say that it's too glary. Oh good, there are some hearts in here. Okay. Yeah, so what I'll be doing is painting this entire design and it cools fairly quickly as I'm painting it. So, when, and then I'll decide what color to make the dress. Or, you know, I can sometimes I'll predict, I'll have a color in mind already before I start. I have a feeling this is going to go into purple. And then a midnight blue after that. I had a dress come out with the last batch that was amazing in those colors. And this one is sort of a, a memory of that one. So I'm right now I'm outlining the design so that it really stands out as it's being worn. So that the design doesn't get lost in the dye baths. I really want my designs to stand out so I I trace over them with the wax. And everywhere I'm painting is, Sonia says, I love the one behind you. Did you make it? Yes, I did. Yes, I made this one on the last video, I think. And uh, Lisa, all right, very cool. Yeah, there's a bunch in there. They're really cool. I'm gonna, we're gonna do, we're gonna dye them soon. I haven't, I don't know, we had the 4th of July and then I had to rest all, the day after. <laughs> Just from all the dry, it was fun, it was very exciting. Yeah, so anyway, what's that? What tool am I using to paint? This is called a John Ting, and it's like a traditional batik tool. This is the version, the original version. See, it's like a weird little batik tool. And then the one I have, I sort of modified that for. For my style of painting but it's a basic it's the same concept this one has wax pouring out of it yeah it's basically like a fountain pen for hot for beeswax for hot wax well it doesn't have to be beeswax you can use any, any kind of wax really but i prefer beeswax i find beeswax is the highest quality and i'm not allergic to it so that's why i use it I'm just tapping the tool to get the sediment out. I'm using unfiltered beeswax, so that's why. Sometimes it clogs the tool, but it's fine. It's the way it is. I prefer it. It has better consistency, and I, it paint for me, it paints, but it has more control. The sediment actually helps with the wax. It gives it more substance, more... Uh, I don't know what the word is, but it like makes it so it has like, it's more of a solid line. And paraffin is, I think paraffin's trickier. I don't like paraffin. 
But a lot of people can wax with, they can paint with paraffin. I mean, most people do actually. But I had, I can't use paraffin. It, I get, it gives me a headache. Have I always put my tags in dresses? Yeah, I do. I, yeah, you remind me. I gotta paint. I gotta do the tag on this one. But I'm, ha I'm holding this design so it doesn't smudge. Yes, I have my tags. My little. And no, I have not. There were many years. Oh, is the glare? I can't even tell if the glare is hurting me or helping me. Many, many, most pieces that I've done, I um, never signed. Never signed and never put tags in, ever. And I have many pieces out there, all hand sewn. But there's not, <clears throat> hold on. There's not a lot of people. I mean, there's no no one really making stuff. Oh. I love that you show the whole process. Sometimes folks don't understand how much time, yeah. I know, mm. thank you. <laughs> mm. All this talking, my throat. Um, what were we talking about? Oh yeah. There's not a lot, I mean, this it's pretty distinctive, like it's, it's not like there's a lot of people that would make them, you know, it's recognizable. I'm not worried about it, but yeah, many pieces never signed. And just for a lot of strange reasons, you know, had a very, I don't know. Gypsy style background, I guess. Lifestyle, I guess, is what you would say. We were traveling around and didn't really, wasn't thinking about signing the, sometimes I did. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. It's not like it, you know. I don't know. Maybe I'm worried about it. I am a little worried about how hot it is in here, but not really. Okay, we're gonna do dots. changes to the temperature make all the difference in the design. Deborah says, I have a dress from Dead Concert. Oh yeah. Hmm, maybe it could, you might. I don't know. Some people do think. Barbara says, do you frame pieces and compete in shows with them? Uh, you could. I did do one art show once, and I had to speak, do like a public speaking thing in front of 50 people, which I did do. I did it, but then I don't know, it freaked me out, <laughs> which it's weird because I'm doing that now, but this doesn't freak me out this much. And then I didn't do it again. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I, I'm on the path that I am, but I am. I probably could. I don't know. I don't know much about art shows. I have pieces though. I have flat pieces. They're kind of fun. They're very elaborate. I would almost say they're harder to make than the dresses. Somebody on a table? Jennifer, on a table. Huh. Do you mean painting on the table or like laying the piece flat on the table? I don't really do that. Uh, that's just not my painting style. I find that when I'm for painting clothing, it's easier to hang it up like this off a hanger for some reason. I don't know why it is. Well, I do know why because I'm actually painting, I'm body painting. I'm painting designs that I think would look good on the body. Look, there's a little imperfection in the fabric. Oh well. It makes it special. 
So when it's on a hanger, I can kind of visualize how it would look like on the shoulders or the, around the back. So happy you're still doing the video. Sure, thanks. Thanks, Brandy. Yeah, I know. I took a couple days off and it's just got to get back in there and do it. Keep going. I think I'm more productive when I'm painting on a video than I am on my own. <laughs> maybe, I don't know, maybe. But we're building up quite a few dresses, so we're gonna have, they're gonna go up for sale soon. All right, that's a lot of dots. I'm probably gonna paint over it. So I'm gonna leave it like that, and we're gonna go finish this part. Yeah, I sign them now though. I just have a feeling about the future of this artwork. So I'm making sure it's all signed, labeled and all that good stuff. The internet is a different thing, you know? It's a different kind of place. It's good. It's a good place. I like it. I'm very happy on the internet. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Maybe it was the sun because the sun's setting right now. Do I do tunic tops? Tunic tops. Is this a tunic? Am I wearing a tunic? I can't remember what tunic tops are. I have done. I do a series. I'll do a series of a style and then, and then it'll sell out and then I'll find new styles to do. So probably I've done tunics in there. Yes, actually, I think so. Those are like the shirt dresses. Yes, I have. I I did. I have done. Oh, this tool. Sometimes it's good, and sometimes it's clogged up. I gotta unclog it. Okay. Let's see if that works. Let's see if that works. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay.
Great. Hi, Allison. Great. Let's figure this out. Gail says, do you start out with the design in mind or just make it up as I keep doing? Yeah, I usually have kind of an idea of what I want to do. And then I'll make I'll make it up. Yeah, as I'm going. <laughs> sometimes a design will feed into a new design. That's pretty off, you know, sometimes a dress will tell me what design it wants. Some new designs I I wrote down. Oh man, I love that notebook in the other room. Maybe I can get it. Yeah, I found a fuchsia. I like the design of a fuchsia. Okay, it is a warm day. Right, right. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Right, right, right. Right, right. All right, we got it. We're good. We're good. Make sure everything is balanced out. See, it's liquid right now and it is drying. You can actually watch it dry. And as it dries, it cools down and then you're able to touch it. See, it's already starting to dry. See, it's like, uh, what's the process after painting? Uh, this will all go into probably a purple dye bath. <sighs> See, it's clouds up. It's still kind, yeah, it's like stiffened up. 
is already cooled down significantly. So this will go into purple, and then after it comes out of the purple, I'll paint another layer of wax over the purple color. And then, so it'll have two layers of wax over two different colors. White, which I'm doing now, then purple, which will be the next color. And then after those two layers of pa are painted, I'll put the whole dress in a deep midnight blue. And then the whole dress will turn midnight blue except where I've painted over the fabric. That'll preserve the color and the design underneath. And then at the end of it, I boil all, after it comes out of the navy blue, I boil all, I boil the whole dress and all the beeswax rises to the top. And then this is, the design will be left underneath. The design that is under this white fabric. So it's kind of like painting in reverse. I hope that made sense. It sounds complicated. It's, it's very simple once you get the hang of it. Yeah, it's cool. You can see examples on my website of some finished pieces. There's a, there are a few dresses actually in this, on the site right now. And then once I get a new batch of dresses ready, then we'll do, I get them all finished up and then we do a photo shoot and then I put them up for sale. I'm trying to do about once a month. And then I put in t-shirts too. The longest I've worked on a dress, I don't know, I had a video not long ago. I did just flowers and it was two hours just on one dress. Uh, yeah, that just for the first layer of paint. I mean wax, sorry. The first layer of uh, wax. Euph Euphemia, hey! I, the, your name is beautiful, but I, I always am shy to say it. Hey from Indiana, good to see you back. All right. Um, gosh, I don't remember what we were talking about. Yeah, two hours. Well, that was the first painting because, you know, they have to be dyed and then the painted again. So they, they're actually very time consuming. So here we have a piece that is, that's where the wax is still too hot to touch, but up, up here it's cooler. Oh, is the glare, I hope the glare isn't too bad. See, it's still too hot to touch, but it's cooling down fairly quickly. All right. I have some new shirts coming up. They're very cute. Wait till you guys see them. They're cute. Tiny little shirts. They're tiny little summer shirts. They're stretchy. Um, they're going to be like, you know, a lot, not as elaborate, but accessible if, if for better, lack of better words. Looks like gold, I know, doesn't it? This is why I like the unfiltered. Uh, the raw, the B grade wax, because I don't know, it just paints better. And it's a little darker. It just really stands out so I can actually really see what I'm doing. Yeah, let me show you guys what I'm working on. God, these shoes are so fantastic. These cute little shirts. They're about to go into the dye bath. I just finished them. Aren't they precious? So these are going to come up cat was sitting on it. That's nice. Okay. These are coming up. I have these and then I have, I just finished that pile and then I have a pile there that I need to start. And then once I get them all ready, I'll put a, I'll put them up online and do a, like a little video, a sizing video or put in an e-liner. All right. Hi Leela. Good to see you back. So those are coming. And then these, these will be coming soon too. Yep, July, we got lots of good stuff coming for July. Lots of hot weather clothing. I mean, once the, when I'm in the process, I don't mind if the cat will come in because 
they still have to go through a dye bath, a, wa a rinse, hang to dry, another painting of wax, another dye bath, then they get washed before they go into the boiling water, then they go into the boiling water, then they get extracted and then washed in the cold and then they come inside and they're usually washed twice and then thrown in the dryer. So by the time they're done, <laughs> they're good. A solid. Okay, that's cool. The, that's cute. What I'm probably going to do is, so this will be purple, this will be white, this will be midnight blue. This is going to be purple, but instead of doing this whole thing purple, which might be kind of cute, but I think what I'm going to do is, to keep that theme going, hot. Comes the kitty right now. She loves to hang out while I paint. She's kind of, well, that's the other one. That's the other kitty. She likes to hang out while I'm doing photographs. Okay, that's pretty. I'm thinking about putting dots in here. But I don't know. I could put rays in here too. Let's come back to that. We're gonna finish this up here. Let that cool down. these dots. Lizzie says you're so fun to watch. All right, thanks Lizzie. And listen about your process. Thank you. <laughs> you're you're think you're inspiring me to keep going. I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Well, I love to show people and explain, you know. I'd love to see a batik revolution happening to society. I want everybody was wearing batik and making batiks and talking about batik and how to batik on. And then they'd, they'd be like a community, you know, like, oh, you're a, a member of the batik community. <laughs> they would, we'd recognize each other. It's like, <laughs> uh, do I teach? Well, so far, this is about the extent of my teaching are these live videos. I have, many have asked about tutorials and I have, the seed is planted. The seed is planted, I'm, I'm putting it together and you know, it just has to come to the surface and produce itself. It will, I, I've already sent the signal that we need a tutorial. So the brain's gotta put one together and I'm, I, it will. Yeah, a lot of things I've been thinking about. Okay, how are we doing here? This is pretty. I like the half painted dots. I do. I like it. It gives texture. And in fact, we're going to turn this down a bit. You know what? We gotta think about the back. Before I finish this, let's think about the back. What are we gonna do back here? Now, I like the idea of stars continuing from this moon. So, Allison says, so the solid lines and dots resist better than the wash of wax within the wide brush. That's where you see the crackle effect. Oh yeah, I'm so glad you asked. It's a, it's just a sort of a technique. You know how watercolor has all these different techniques to get like different looks? Well, it's similar. What I just did, I painted over the dots, you can't really see, I don't know if you can see it. See those dots? This is the inside. Now it did soak totally through, but it soaked enough. Oh, this light, is this light good? I just don't know. So these dots will shine through this wax. Yeah, that's a good way. Let me show you up close. Yes, those dots will, they'll have like an effect. It'll all be white, but it'll have like a polka dot look to it. And whereas this will be polka dots, regular old polka dots. This will be polka dots 
underneath white and then it will crackle and it'll, uh, the other colors will come through it. It'll be cool. And then the stars are going to be midnight blue and they're really going to be like right. I want to show you this shirt. The little baby shirt I have back here is a 20, 23 year old t-shirt. I made this t-shirt 23 years ago for my kid, my son, my first, my firstborn son. I'll show it to you. <laughs> he used to wear this shirt. It's so cute. This shirt is literally, it's been through four kids. But anyway, and it's like over two decades old. So yeah, so that's the dark, this is the final color coming through. Oh, look at, oh man, so many memories. So cute. <laughs> and then, oh, I need a moment. <laughs> we gotta put the shirt away. We gotta look at new work. Don't look at old work. Oh, I'm having, oh, sad. I'm so emotional. <laughs> All right. Woo, so what we were doing a design. Yes, yeah, so that's the technique and I like it and it's just fun ways of manipulating the wax to make different effects. Um, once you really get the hang of painting with wax, you can do it. Somebody says, found natural beeswax from a local beekeeper and you have to stock up and die and learn how to intermingles. Yeah, it is. I'm self-taught and, but I think a tutorial would be actually pretty helpful for people. I take it for granted, you know, that I'm, I have it all by memory and that someone who didn't know wouldn't know the same steps, stuff that I just have on autopilot. You don't realize, you know, once you get outside of yourself, other people don't know the things that you, you, you know. Okay. Let's do, we're going to do stars here. I really like the idea of stars. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's do that. But what are we doing with these? What does this dress want? What does it want? Here comes a kitty. Here comes a kitty to visit us. She wants to hang out. We're painting. It's a good times. Yes, a kitty wants to sit with us. Oh man, she just loves it when I paint. gonna do here? What are some of the designs I've been coming out with lately? <sighs> well, I was gonna do like swirls down here. Yeah, you know what I could do is do stars that come here. Do this star here, and then one could have come up here. Is that gonna work? And then have this. Let's do that. I, right, I have an idea. Okay, this is gonna be a very elaborate dress, but it's gonna be good. Oh, yeah. Shooting stars. Yes, we are gonna have shooting. Yeah, that's a good idea. We're actually gonna have shooting stars on here. Oh man, it's Danica. I think I remember how to say your name. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We got a heart. Okay, must be on the right track. I do like that. It's very pretty. I love all your different names. Everybody has such an interesting name and profile picture.
star of the morning. Oh, that's cool. All right. will be joined together. I think this is the first time the cat has sat in here while I was on a live video, which means that it's starting to smooth out a bit. It's starting to get relaxed. Hey, Jill! Good to see you! Look, we got a kitty visiting us. Can you guys see her? She's hanging out. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Things are starting to, starting to become the rhythm. All right, everybody's joining tonight. We got all kinds of excitement going on. Yeah, that's right, Donna. And this is on the way. A cat dress. Yes! Get him do some kitties. I've had some crazy ideas come to mind recently, but I haven't been drawing them out. And you know, I need to do that. Sort of taking the last couple of days off. You know, we did that long trip to the coast. We've done been to the coast twice in the past couple of weeks. But every time I do one of these videos, I have all these ideas flood in. That's funny. I don't know what it is, but it, it just for some reason the live videos just do that. Okay. Yes, 
this. I'm very excited. The one you got. I love it. The teal and the purple. Or oh, should I? Can I even say that? Oh, no. Do I do purses? Um, I have done bags before, but... No, I haven't really. I'm, I haven't done that. I'm looking right now. I'm looking at skirts. Possibly. Um... Kimonos, maybe, I don't know. And skirts, you know, but there's so much to it. It's like you have to really go through every step and test the fabric out, test the designs out, see how it fatigues. There's a lot to it, making a piece. So the development of a new of new items can be a... Um, Donna, you could wear it. You know how styles are. You can wear things with sleeves. You can do layers. You can do a shawl. There's a lot of different ways. You might be able to wear over something with sleeves. There's a lot of, uh... <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll do, we'll get those leggings ready. Leggings will come out in the fall. It's, it's slow, guys. It's a slow process. I need to find leggings. We're still on the hunt for a new leggings source, but if American Apparel comes back and makes leggings, when I will be getting those because they are high quality leggings. Or they were, I don't know if they're going to make them anymore. Okay, let's do the detail work on this and then we'll come back and finish, figure out these stars. How is the glare? Can you guys see okay? All right, Alicia, nice to see you. Okay, good. Donna said yes. that summertime sunset. too hot to move around. We're just waiting for that to cool down. And actually a drop landed on my hand underneath, but it's fine. It's still cooling. Okay, it's almost cool. Can you see it? Almost there. Speed it up.
Yeah, so I make it look easy. <laughs> well, we have uh, 28 years of experience here. I look at some of my older work. Actually, all my older work. The theme is there, you know, and the passion's there. It does change, so it really mostly designs change. using to apply the wax oh uh, I'll show you in just a second this is a regular paintbrush and this is a special tool it's a wax it's a it's a I mean this is an ancient technique and this tool is called a jaunting and it's basically like a little fountain pen for beeswax this is the this is what you can purchase from the craft store I have some wax on it I have like dipped it in but I don't this is I've Modify. I have a modified version of this tool that I made myself because this tool is very good for working on flat surfaces, but because I work on the hanger, I had to change it around a little bit. But it's basically called a jaunting, which is a T-J-A-N-T-I-N-G, I think is the spelling. It's just a traditional batik tool. And you can buy them from um, craft, craft websites. I hope that answers your question. Okay, these stars, they need some love. They need love. What are we gonna do with them? What are we gonna do? You know what we could do is take this and bring it over here. That's what we're gonna do. glad I can answer your question. Uh, Marielle? I hope I pronounced your name right. I am not a professional name pronouncer person. I'm working on it though. Practice makes perfect. Mar Mar Marielle or Marielle? <laughs> one, of the, one of those. I hope I got at least close to pronouncing your name correctly. Okay. Let's get the bottom done here. So I did, this was supposed to be the front, but then I did that on the front, and that is cute. But since we have this tree theme, and we have the moons and the stars, and we have the sunrise, and then here we have the moon, you know what we could do is keep with the tree theme inside of a mountain. Turn this into a mountain. Oh, nice, Marielle, right? Is that? I think that's what I said. <laughs> I'll look. I'll read the. I'll look back at the comments and make sure. Okay, since I'm not going to have this design, so since it's going to be a tree, I'm going to keep it somewhat. I'm gonna just do a different color since we're not doing the sun. Well, I don't know, we could do a sun. We could do two suns. There's no trouble with two sun. We have a sunrise and a sunset. Maybe we should do two suns, that'd be different. We could do like swirls in here. Yeah, you know, let's do, let's just stick with it. What am I drawing? Oh, this is a washable, just a washable kids marker. Like they, kids, 
like a Crayola or some off brand like that. And it washes right out of the fabric. It's just good for me to get the, to trace out what I want. It helps keep the balance of the designs. All right, thank you. swirly side to contrast the straight rays on the other side. Yeah, I agree. I think that's what we're going to do. I just barely caught that comment, but whoever said that, I I think we're thinking alike here tonight. Arms getting tired. <sighs> so let's just do it. All right. Oh, shoot. there just yes that's what we're gonna do we're gonna make big sun rays in this okay guys here we go <laughs>
cool. Alright, let that cool down. We just got started with that one. Oh, Diane says, do I mix my dyes up fresh each time I do a dye bath? Yes, absolutely. I'm going to do a dye bath really soon. A lot of people have asked to see me do another live video while I do the dyes. i got to get brave to do that. We'll see. We'll see how I'll put that together. It'll be kind of interesting, I guess. It doesn't take as long to do the dyes, but I could do it. I do it tonight. We'll dye this one dress. But there's leaves. The leaves have been blowing around all around my outdoor patio and there's leaves everywhere. Like just dry, like rose petals. The rose bush has been leaking leaves or shedding leaves. They're all blowing under my into my buckets and stuff. If you guys don't mind looking at some leaves all over the place, maybe I'll take you out there. I got this tripod. Maybe. Hmm. We'll see. Right, kitty? Yeah, that'd be cool. And you can see this dress turn purple. Hmm. Who does not want to see that? Everybody wants to see that. It's like chocolate for the eyes. So yummy. So yummy. <laughs> All right, Jody says yes. All right, well, yeah, maybe we'll do that because this dress is almost done. I kind of want to make more, but I kind of want to do this. We'll see. Besides, look at this amazing sunset ah, that we're doing. That's gonna die up super pretty. Super pretty mind me saying so myself. <laughs> We're getting silly now. We are getting silly. 
with good reason. Look at this dress. Does the beeswax boil a bit? Yes, it does. Allison says the leaves don't scare her. All right, I like, I like your, I like your way, uh, your stand on the, on the matter. Um, the beeswax, yes, at the end of it, uh, at the end of the process, which takes several days, if not a week. Usually, I can in the summer I can do about three or four days. Um, at the end of it, I boil out all the beeswax. In the summer, actually, I could probably do it in two days, but I don't, nah, that's just too, too rushed. I don't like that kind of pressure. But three days is a, you know, it's fair with the weather. Because they're, they hang to dry. Not, you can't machine dry these. I mean, you can when you're done, but while there's, with the wax on it and while you're painting, it's all hand slow, you know. I mean, when they're finished, you can machine wash and dry them to the end of the time. That shirt's 20-something years old, and I, you know, I had four kids all wearing that shirt, all one stair step after another, and I did not hand wash it. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, cool. I didn't do anything inside of it, the sun, but I don't, I'm not feeling called to do anything inside of it. Other than dots, that would be the only thing I would put. I feel compelled to do dots. We, and we might do it. Every dress has a little theme to it. Get some dots right there. That cool down. Cool this tool down and just begin with the dots. First close up those seams. I don't usually do that, but today we do. Fill up the whole sun. Actually, you know what we could do? Our gradient dots. That'd be cool. That's what we'll do. Gradient dots. Okay, that mu isn't much of a gradient, but we can maybe add to it. Here we go. Now we got some gradient dots. Here we go. See, you wanted that? We asked and the universe provided. I said, oh, gradient dots, of course. We'll have that right to you. We will have it right to you. Magical. All right. Cool. Do it right over here. Isn't this cool? And look, this is totally like solid now. It's like like cardboard. It feels like cardboard. That's how this uh, goes back to its original state. Nice. All right, cool. Hope it's cool I'm acting silly because that's my natural state too. <laughs> that's the truth. Nothing 
are going well. That's the truth. That's the way it works. The good times are all. Well, it looks a little... Nah, it's fine. It looks great. It looks awesome. It looks beautiful. Oops. Hey. Adds to the intergalactic nature of it all. Sorry, you guys, I'm getting like really into this design. And I am procrastinating a little bit about going outside and putting this in purple. But we could probably do it. Have faith. It's gonna be fine. It won't be scary tripod won't fall everything will be okay I like it it's cute very cute love it gorgeous so we have that preciousness and that preciousness that's cute it's a cute dress this is going into purple I'm gonna do a few others in purple, but I don't know. I don't, don't want to do it all at one time because I don't know. Okay, I got the short sign. I'm not wearing these shoes out there because oh man, the difference in height. I don't want to get dye on my shoes. <laughs> okay. To do this, how are we gonna do take the tripod outside and do this dress? I hope that this phone is attached to this tripod. Okay, oh, I forgot we're plugged in too. That I'm gonna need to unplug. All right, I'm unplugging the wax too, and I'm unplugging the phone. All right, guys, I'm taking it outside with me if we get that, everything's stable. Tripod. The tripod's at an angle, and I hope it's not too wobbly for you. This is a new experience for me as well. Okay, we're gonna do one dress. I'll do the others later because. <laughs> okay, how? I don't know. I have. I've done a dive bath before on live video. Do you need the gloves, Bo? All right, here we go. Is it even gonna? This will be interesting. I'm walking backwards. Oh wow, look at this. We could put you right here. Alright. Yes, this will work, right? Will that work? It's a little is it level? I got some leaves on the ground. <laughs> Did anything fall? Did this fall? I heard a noise. Okay. All right, I'll, I'm gonna keep looking at the comments. All right, we're gonna do one quick dye bath of this one dress in the purple. I'm gonna hand mix it. And a few leaves. This is just old, not fancy. Soda ash, 
And actually, that's probably too much because we're only doing one dress. how I do the the dye lens. Hey, uh, Bar I, Isaiah, can you close that door briefly yeah. for now? Just so the noise it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's watching PewDiePie, but I don't know. I'm not. I'm not okay. <laughs> What's Jack Boy? Oh, that's nice. This is my measuring system right here. Fuchsia is super strong, so I use a lot less in ratio to the blue. All right, actually, last time I did this, I didn't use enough dye and but I can always come back out. But you guys are getting the basic idea how this is done. And usually I do like all of the pieces together and it's a lot more like of a process, but we're just doing one piece. Not enough fuchsia. Oh my god, I think I got some on my cheek. <laughs> oh my god, of course, of course I did. That's why I wear, usually wear like a lot more. If I got it on my cheek, just I don't know. Okay, there's your color. You can't really tell, but you can kind of see on the side of the bucket. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get any on my sheet. Good. Oh, that would be embarrassing. So that's pretty much it. There's like, that's about all I do. I don't stir it too aggressively, just enough. Here's the dress I just did. I don't know. Do you see how? You can kind of see how it works. Isn't that incredible?
it's not that easy to manipulate, but you can kind of see the sun. But I just died. I just did that. Isn't that cool? And on this side, you can kind of see that. Isn't that neat? And then this is the inside. interesting. There's the inside of the dress and there's the outside of the dress. Now that's not exactly what it's going to look like, but that's just what it looks like with dye over the wax. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So yeah. So this is going to, the color is actually going to intensify a little bit and it'll sit in over here overnight. Here's the tree that we just painted. So yeah. That's just the first layer. And then what happens is after this is dry, I go in and I will repaint beeswax right over this part. I'll keep the tree purple. I know, you do. You never know what it'll look like. And then with this, I'll paint this line purple. And I'll paint this line. I'll cover. And then these will be dark contrasting. And that's how it works. So yeah, there we go. There it is in the dye. That's gonna sit there overnight. There you go, from start to step two. That's how you make a batik. At least that's the first step. You sure didn't get any spill a splash on my cheek, but you never know. I got it doesn't really, yeah. I usually would have like, a, I have a jacket and this is my dye jacket. You might have seen it in previous videos I've done. It's like, I wear this too if I'm going to do a lot of dye baths. But if it's just a little, little thing like that, it'll be fine. So, all right, guys. I will, if I, oh, I love doing batik, Debbie says. Would love to purchase my own tools and batik at home. Yeah, you sure should. Give it a try. And Jennifer says, wow, thanks. Well, you're welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm gonna, I got a, I'm gonna, I got a little on my arm and I'm gonna, yeah, we'll get back on here. We'll do this again tomorrow. How about that? We'll make another dress and get everything ready. I gotta put the tripod down and sign off because <laughs> this is awkward. All right, guys, that was fun. Thanks for joining and I'll be back. We'll make more and we're building up. So these are gonna be ready for sale soon. All right, guys. Wonderful, Brooke. Thank you. Good. We'll see you. We'll see y'all again soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.